Attention, this is Citadel Station Bay Control, Dock Module 126. Please remain where you are. Lieutenant Dolgren will arrive shortly to meet you. That is all. I don't like the sound of that. If they think we caused the explosion... Uh-oh. Here comes the welcoming party. They may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Gren, Telos Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas mining facility. Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Yes, that includes you. You are a droid, so you will be detained. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. You are the only witnesses of the mining facility's destruction. Thus, it is necessary for us to keep you under surveillance until we have a better idea of what happened. Look around you. Even if you manage to overcome all of us, Bay Control could simply open the MagCon field and shoot you into space. So, let's not do this the hard way. Given your position, it would be a good idea if you took a more accommodating tone. My men will relieve you of your arms and armor. Follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. You will be held here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in Residential Module 082. As I said, this is only temporary while other arrangements are made. I'm sorry, but you'll just have to bear with us until then. Well, we might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. Someone is coming. So this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit I'm a little disappointed. Doubtful, though at least it appears you have some spirit. The Exchange has a bounty on Jedi, you know. You're worth quite a bit of money. The Exchange, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey, I'm more than skilled enough to work for the Exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No Mandalorian could match my skills. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station, taking the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive, but I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. Come, Jedi. It is time to die. Hey, leave him alone. You want to fight? Then try me if you've got the guts. You have goaded me once, and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually. And an old woman, a fool, and a broken Jedi are no match to my skills. The security cameras are... What? What's going on here? Man down! Quick! Call a medic! All right, Jedi. I want you to back up slowly. Hands in front of you. Into the Force Cage. Cooperate, and we won't have to gun you down. Come on, Lieutenant. They've already killed... Uh, oh, who is that? Is that Batu Rem? Rem's no assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. We've arranged for an apartment in Residential Module 082. 
You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragras matter is complete. You'll be under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. Officer, let Lieutenant Yima a report of this incident. She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment in 082 immediately. These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? I can't say. We have a ship examining what's left of the Paragas facility now, so your stay might be brief. We'll keep you informed. Now, this is a step up from a force cage, at least. If there are any problems, we'll use the wall terminal to contact you. Let's go. This isn't good. We've got to get off this station. What do you think the TSF is going to find at Paragas? That could bring the Sith... You know what? Forget it. As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. We cannot stay in any one place too long, but our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. representing the Ethorian planet restoration interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. He says he wishes to speak with you on behalf of Chodo Habat. That's all he will say. Very well. I'll let him in now. Perhaps Choda Habat should turn his eyes to his own people, if they truly suffer so. <laughs> Now perhaps we will be able to rest uninterrupted. Good day. I am B4D4, Administrative Assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. I am attempting to connect you with Executive Officer Jana Lorso. May I put you through? Thank you. I will connect you now. Good day. Thank you for accepting my call. As my assistant no doubt informed you, I am John Aluso. I understand that you were approached by an Athorian earlier. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help, attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. I believe you're a person of influence. Someone I'd like on my side, rather than aiding the Athorians, whose quasi-mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit. I'm not asking for your help, though. I'm offering you a job. Work for Zerka and be handsomely rewarded. 
You'd be helping yourself. If you're interested, please visit our offices here in Residential 082. B-44 will know what to do when you arrive. Their plans for the restoration of Telos are aimless and meandering. Restore the sacred natural beauty of Telos, they say. Just what does that mean? How does that apply to natural resource development and consumption? The proper planning of urban sectors, resorts and tourism? It doesn't. The Athorians are spending billions of Republic credits on a plan with no defined profit. If it continues, they'll drive the Republic into irreparable debt and have nothing to show for it but a few meadows and a weather generator the size of a small continent. I'd rather discuss that in person. I'll be more than happy to answer any and all questions when you visit our offices. Excellent. Good luck with that messy investigation, and I hope to see you shortly. We should get back to bed. Whenever they decide to release us, we should get going immediately. Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If he served in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man, a child. But to lose so much, I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the Force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability for a Jedi, it seems so extreme. He has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that he turned away from war, did all that he could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this, and we do him a disservice by not speaking of this while he is present. I've come to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragus facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. To further investigate the station's destruction and search for their missing ship, the Harbinger. The sojourn is already en route, likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. Well, now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off the station. Whether it's the Evan Hawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shada, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. Look, this place is a waste. If Telos wasn't doomed before Paragus blew, it is now. Even more so if your friends from Paragus come calling. Because it depends on Citadel Station, and the Citadel depends on Paragian fuel and the Republic Senators. The Citadel's fuel source went up with the mining facility. And the bickering Senators? Huh. <laughs> Not something worth counting on.
Yes, have you? Very well. Indeed. Then listen to me. There is much weight, much craving attached to such a tiny thing of light. For the male, it seems to have an inordinate importance. But we shall leave such male preoccupations for philosophers and cultural historians. A lightsaber, any weapon, only achieves worth in how it is wielded, in the effort, in the struggle of one who holds it. Such a weapon does not make a Jedi or a Sith, and at times it makes them much, much less than they are. The knowledge has already been imparted very well. The Jedi practice many forms, many styles of lightsaber combat. It is good to know them, but not to rely on them. You may have already felt the Shicho, the simplest of the forms return to you as your skill and perceptions have returned. Others may come with time, with experience. Hey, what are you doing in my apartment? You think I'm just gonna let you get away with this? Yes, I will. I'm not going to let you push me around in my own place. Now get out of here before I get the TSF to throw you in jail. Why not? You didn't seem to have a problem taking everything else. What? You are crazy! I don't know what even came over me. One second we were just standing there talking and then... I am not speaking to you, fool. Be silent. When one of us is committed to battle, then all of us are committed. We must stand together. I would examine the situation as a whole, all of its ties to the Force, and then decide which string to pull, not sever them all at once. Such crude methods grant you nothing. 
Perhaps, but not from those who matter. Oh, I grow weary of this. Perhaps time will allow my words to take root, if your common sense will not permit it. Variki, mangra, do cha, screen do pat. Da hupa, bosa, curata, gavadumpa, munsu. Gavadumpa, munsuru, kupla, liawa. Bo bagaragawanda. Ta come tak, blaia, justing, miki gongo, beas. Ento mesh mi pa. Ni Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand and they're too much for the TSF to handle. Good day. I am B4D4, Administrative Assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. How may I help you? Of course. She has been expecting you. You will find her through the door and down the hall on the right. Zerka Corporation has operations on many systems, providing e Here on Telos, Zerka Corporation is involved in the restoration project, which Zerka... I knew you'd come eventually. I'm confident that we will be able to reach a working agreement satisfactory to both you and I. But where are my manners? On behalf of Zerka Corporation, I would like to be the first to welcome you to Telos. I can understand why you might be on their side, but believe me, you wouldn't be doing Telos any favors assisting those amateurs. Oh, sure. Habat's intentions are good enough, but good intentions won't restore Telos. His expensive policy of relocating biological specimens from Onderon, without any planning, will doom Telos in the end. I don't think Habat even realizes that at their current pace, they will run out of funding before even half of the restoration zones are up and running. Zerka plans to use some of the planet's own resources to help fund the restoration. These extra funds will greatly improve the project in the long run. Habat, on the other hand, can't see beyond his own selfish concerns. We've discovered that the surface of Telos is covered with military facilities that were either destroyed or abandoned during the Sith attack. Salvaged raw materials from these sites can either be reprocessed and put back into service, or resold to help fund the project. Zerka has been managing the restoration project without the assistance of a droid for some time now. Habat has commandeered the new droid intelligence that was to be delivered to the station. I'd like for you to meet the shipment at Dock Module 126, Shuttle Bay 2, and bring the droid back here before the Athorians foul things up again. Don't worry, 
Zerka wouldn't expect you to work unpaid and won't subject you to veiled threats and coercion like Kabat. For your help in this matter, you will be paid the sum of 250 credits. You're right. 300 credits would be much more reasonable. Excellent. I will secure credits for your payment immediately. Oh, and here. You might need this to get into the hangar. Sobotun sama pitom.
Hello there, and greetings from Isis and Onderon. I'm a diplomat from Queen Talia on Onderon. My stay was supposed to have been shorter. The Athorians negotiated the export of flora and fauna from Onderon, but with their disagreements with Zerka, the status of our arrangement is in the air. I'm a diplomat from... Thank you. 